Okay, what I'm going to show you, and I wasn't going to make a video, but this is the stuff that I'm using to clean the canoe. And I guess I got about half left. And I put it in these spray bottles that I rinsed out with uh, water. I haven't used one full one yet. This one's still full. Okay? So let's have a look at this. All they were sprayed on, and then uh, I used a brush like this to rub it down. And I'll have links to this stuff at the bottom. But this thing was filthy. You're not going to believe this when I show you the um, after and shiny. Okay, see if I can get this in the center. Look at this. Okay, one side's not done, and I did that on purpose. I'm going to do it after this, but as you can see, when I show you this, you know, and this didn't take long, I mean, 20 minutes to do the one side maybe, spray it down, wipe it down, that's about it. So I should have enough to... Uh, To do the inside yet too and I'll show you that when I'm done but this stuff looks pretty good about one gallon and this thing was filthy so I'm pretty impressed so I'm gonna do the inside and then uh, I'll come back and show you how that looks okay so what I do is I spray it from the bottom work my way up to the top and then uh, I just scrub it down with this now I got some type of black gravel on there on this side you can probably hear it it's tearing apart my thing I'm probably gonna have to take a putty knife to that I'm not sure yet but uh, I'll finish this up and come back Okay, and here we go. Both sides done. Didn't take long, I'll tell you. Now you get the odd spot like this. Still a little dirty. You just go back spray over it. And you really don't have to scrub that. Just leave it sit for about four or five minutes. And then wash it down with water again. But um, I only did one coat. Hit it with the brush. And... Uh, the odd spot I sprayed it down now I would do this on a cool day I wouldn't do this on a hot day I got thinking about that because right now we're in January in Tennessee we just come out of a cold spell so we're sitting pretty hot we're like 50 60 Fahrenheit I'm literally out here in a t-shirt so that looks really nice Really, really nice. It's nice to get all that dirt off. I gotta work on the inside now. Oh man, you see this black stuff here? I don't know what that is. But that's the inside. Looks like it had a beige paint job on the inside. But all up the sides and the back seat are all covered in that black soot is what it is. And you see it here. You know, oh, I spent a half an hour washing that out. It was full of mud. Still a little bit of water in there, but I think it'll do. Now, I just need to make up two more spray bottles and uh, spray the inside down really good. And then uh, it should be a it should come out pretty. <coughs> it should come out pretty shiny. But um, you can buy a couple of other materials too, where you buy a polish and some type of wax, or you could wax it. I mean, I'm not out to make it shine, shine. I just want the dirt off of it, so when I climb into the canoe, I don't get all that shit all over the back of my pants. So it's pretty clean that way. 
and uh, I'll be happy with that. And in Tennessee, I have to register this canoe. Um, if I was only paddling it and not putting a motor on the back, then um, I wouldn't need to register it, nothing. But because I'm putting a motor, anytime you add a motor to a boat, you have to register it, and then you have to go down, you have to you can go online, and you pay like a yearly fee. So you gotta buy a fishing license, which if I wanna fish for everything, like trout and everything, I'm into probably 90 bucks. And of course my kid, 90 bucks, look at this cat. You're ridiculous. Every little spot you wanna see what's going on, don't you? Now you ain't gonna be over here when I start spraying that stuff. But by the time you register the boat, the fishing license, I mean, I don't know, 150. And then I got to register my son too, so he's another 100, so $250 before you can even get out there and fish. I don't know about you, but that seems like an awful lot of money. And uh, I was pretty surprised. I do have a set of buoys I bought where they go out on each side. I'll hook them up and do a little review on them, show you what they look like. And... Uh, Will you get off my lap? Will you get off my lap? Yes. And I got another tent I might set up. And uh, I'll explain that later when I get to it. But um, I gotta mix some stuff. And I don't know why that's there. There's a piece of, I don't know, rubberized there, silicone. I'll have to take a look at that. Maybe there was a leak there, a hole, who knows. But we'll get this clean and then we'll rinse it out. And this is more of a pain in the ass to rinse out. I mean, because the water sits inside along the edge. I put a chair against it with a uh, cinder block to hold the canoe up sideways. And then that helps with getting the water out. I'm only left with a little bit of water in there, you can see. So that's pretty good. It's a little cloudy, it may rain today but I get the rest of this done. All right, I did the inside. That seat came out pretty good. Not too bad. And if you go down and you look, now the pole's going across the middle. I guess I could take um, I don't know, a little bit of hand sandpaper to smooth that out, make it little, look a little better, but it got it a lot cleaner than what it was. And I still got half a jug. This is still tarnished. So if it's really, really bad, you're probably gonna have to basically work your ass off and you know, spray it down, let it sit for a good five, eight minutes and then start scrubbing. You could probably get it a little bit bigger, but I mean, you could probably get it a little bit better. But at this point, I think I'd have to take some uh, find sandpaper to it and hit it if I want if I want it perfect the poles I'd like cleaned up the seats are all clean everything's in this is nice and clean I, I'm that's kind of nice not get dirt all over your ass but um that stuff worked pretty good and I still got like I don't know a quarter of a bottle left so that's not bad and like I said you do this you want to do this on a cool day you do this on a hot day, like 90, 100 degrees, you spray that stuff on, it's gonna evaporate just as quickly as you put it in there. So I'd say springtime, fall time, depending on your location. But this worked out beautiful in January since we came out of that cold spell. So this is really nice. But um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it, how I got the dirt off. I need to fix the back with some three quarter inch plywood where I'm gonna attach the motor on the inside and the outside, bolt it, and um, I think we're ready to go for a test to see if it leaks after that. I can't go without the motor yet because like I said, I gotta have it registered first. But I think I'd wanna take it out and paddle it and see if there's any leaks or what else I gotta fix on it if possible and do this a little bit at a time. But um, I'm pretty impressed with it. I have a link in the bottom to this aluminum cleaner if you want to do your pontoons or whatever type of aluminum boat you got, if you want to try it. Well, I'm pretty impressed with it. I've seen some reviews saying they it didn't work, 
But I mean, if, if you got aluminum that's tarnished really bad like that, you know, it's not really going to work on that. You're going to have to take uh, sandpaper to it is what you're going to have to do. And you're probably better off to hit it with the cleaner, let it dry, hit it with the sandpaper, and uh, maybe even a steel wool, and then clean it up that way. But it depends how bad your aluminum is. But as you can see, the bottom turned out really nice. One clean canoe, getting ready to go. All right, catch you guys later.